Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. I teach at the University of Colorado Boulder, previously at UC Berkeley and UCLA. What did Old Norse sound like? Linguists have a better idea than for many other extinct languages because we have several sources of information. Not only do we have modern descendant languages in Scandinavia, including Icelandic, Norwegian, Swedish, Danish, and Faroese, but we can compare to other well-known contemporary languages such as Medieval Latin, Old Thai German, Old English, etc. Uh, one way that we find information from, say, Medieval Latin is that since the alphabet used to write Old Norse, uh, at least most of the documents that we have, is the Roman alphabet adapted from the way Medieval Latin was written. You're not going to change what a letter means when you change when you write a new language. So, for instance, a K is going to mean something like what a K means in Medieval Latin. We also have direct evidence from a document called the First Grammatical Treatise written by an anonymous author in Iceland about 1140, uh, in which this person, whoever it was, uh, discussed ways that the Roman alphabet could be adapted to better write sounds in Old Norse that are not in, that are not normally represented by the Roman alphabet. And so in describing those sounds, we also have a better idea about what uh, those unique sounds of Old Norse were. And then we also can turn to poetry in Old Norse, see what rhymes and what alliterates for hints about uh, changes relative to the modern Scandinavian languages. No language stays the same over this long of a period of time, a thousand years in the case of Old Norse. Icelandic is structurally very similar, but doesn't sound exactly the same. So what I'm going to do here now is read you a few uh, quotes from the poem Hávamál, the wisdom of Óðin, in Old Norse as reconstructed by linguists. Dyr fe, dyja frændr, dyr sjálfur it sama. Ek veit ein at aldri dyr, dómur um dauðan hver. That means cows or sheep or property dies. Kinsmen die. You yourself die the same way. I know one thing that never dies, the judgment on each one dead. Then we have the testimony of Odin about how he learned the runes in Sansus 138 to 139. Veit ek at ek hek vinga me the o natur allar niu. Geri undadur ok evin othni. Sjolvur sjolvum mer o the me thee es mangi veit. Han av rotum ren. Vid hlevi mek seldu, ne vid ornei. Nysta ek nidur, nam ek up runar, öpan denan, fell ek after thadan. I know that I hung on a windswept tree nine long nights, wounded by a spear and given to oath myself to myself on that tree whose roots grow in a place no man has ever seen. No one gave me food, no one gave me drink. I took up the runes, I peered down, screaming, I took them, and I fell then from that place. Sansa 15. Thargalt och hugalt skulle djóðan sparn och vigdjarft vessa. Glader och reyver Skulle gumna hver uns sin bither bana. Silent and thoughtful should a prince's son be, and bold in battle. Cheerful and glad let each man be until his inevitable death day. I'll conclude with stanza 20 from a different poem, Grimnismal, in which Odin talks about his ravens. Hugin och munin. Flyuga hverjan dag, jormun grund uvir. Oomk ek of hugen at han after ne komit, en sjomsk mer u munin. Hugen and munin fly every day, the whole world over. I fear for hugen that he won't come back, but I fear more for munin. And of course, hugen means thought, munin means memory. So of course, Odin, like other old men, might fear more for losing his memory than for his thought. Information about Old Norse tends to be locked up in an ivory tower, published by specialists for specialists, 
and what's available on the internet is often the result of uh, rampant speculation by people who may lack the relevant professional expertise. I am trying to bridge that gap by bringing uh, all of my professional expertise from 15 years of researching and teaching this in great universities around the United States uh, straight to you on YouTube in free videos made in beautiful places in my Rocky Mountain homeland of Colorado and Wyoming. If you are interested in learning more about Norse language and myth, I hope you'll check out one of the more than 200 videos on this channel about those subjects and related subjects in linguistics and mythology. And if you want to help support what I'm doing, I warmly appreciate donations through Patreon or PayPal. For now, from the beautiful Rocky Mountains, I'm wishing you all the best.